Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are done with chapter 1 requirement engineering and now we are moving to the sample questions of this chapter. The very first thing is about number of questions on this chapter. We will be expecting six questions from this chapter altogether where the breakup is shown on the screen right now. Uh, three questions from K2 and three questions from K4. Total together you will be having around 12 points as per the distribution here to be claimed from this chapter. The very first question here, as a tester you are asked to improve the quality of epics and user stories. Which two of the following requirements engineering techniques would be most effective for the given epic? The epic is, as the, as the leader of the marketing department, I want to have a content management system so that my employees can edit and provide quality content to the readers. Now here you are asked to select two options, thus you may have around two or three points for this question. But the most important thing is, though they are talking about very simple aspects of this question, and the options are also quite simple, but yes, you need to apply, apply and analyze the given epic and see that what is the best thing can be done here. So the options are storyboard, story mapping, personas, diagram, and use cases. Now if you look in detail here, the very first thing here is storyboard, where generally we see that storyboard is something which is the entire visual representation of the overall system. Thus, uh, that could be possible because it says the content management system is something which is going to be addressed so that he can see what my employees can edit and provide and uh, provide quality content to the reader. So of course the storyboard will be the one good option which can be utilized here as a part of the technique. The second important thing is story mapping which is also equally possible because the task can be broken down in simple forms and uh, the epic could also be easily transferred to a story mapping in a very simple way. But the otherwise the other two options and uh, the three options what you see here is that one is the personas we do not have enough different user profiles here so that the personas can be created and personas can be used. Uh, on the other side, D, uh, the epics uh, is not in such a detailed way that the diagram can be created. It's just like one component and there are no different module connectivity. So probably the diagrams will not be helpful. And even when you talk about the other one that is use cases, again, there are, you know, Epic is not so detailed that different transactions, different activities within the application can be populated. So here, putting it all together, the right answer is A and B, that is storyboard and story mapping is the best technique to apply. Question number two, describe the requirements engineering techniques and how they can help testers. Now team, here they are not talking about describing in terms of subjective manner, rather just question is uh, a simple straightforward, but the options are going to be detailed so that you can analyze, understand, and based on that you can make your decision with respect to what is the right theory behind that. So the option number A, each tester can easily see on the team's storyboard which task he or she has to do during the current iteration. Now team, if you can quickly recall the first tutorial we were talking about with respect to storyboard. Storyboard is neither an agile task board or nor the agile user storyboard. It's altogether a you know presentation, a pictorial presentation of the entire application or APEC or what is like user story provided to you and thus we cannot relate that to uh, have a look on a Kanban kind of board and agile task board and refer to what your activities are. So A can be ruled out here. B, a storyboard visualizes group of user stories related to a common area of the system like themes which can be considered for inclusion in the same iteration. I think this is the most valid point about a storyboard that uh, what this technique is all about, how it is applied in the real time and how storyboard is actually referred to when we talk about the Agile methodology. So B sounds really great from the point of uh, understanding the technique. C, a storyboard defines which test cases the tester has to execute in exploratory test sessions. I think the storyboard and the exploratory test session and it helps the tester to decide on that. Quite a different, you know, uh, unrelated response when we talk about the scenario here. But let's look at D before that. 
A storyboard can assist with identifying acceptance criteria for user stories and epic. And I think that's the best thing what we can say when it comes to helping testers in terms of taking help of the techniques and D is the most relevant answer when compared to the C about helping the testers. So putting it all together, the right answer here is B and C. So here also we were supposed to select two options. So of course the storyboard visualizes a group of user stories and it helps to identify acceptance criteria. Question number three uh, is a scenario based but uh, probably for one marks because we just have one final thing to be concluded as a part of it. So only one mark will be provided to you and only one option you have to select here but though the scenario would be a little longer to understand. You must review following user story that will be developed and tested during next sprint. It's, uh, you, know, you start have to, you know, such questions, you need to start highlighting the key points of the scenario so that it helps you to understand what exactly it is. As a potential conference attendee, I want to be able to register for conference online so that registration is simple and paperless. The following acceptance criteria are also mentioned. Payment can be made via PayPal, debit or credit cards. An acknowledgement email is sent to the attendee after submitting the form. Protection against spam is working. Information from the form is stored in the registration database. User cannot submit a form without filling out the mandatory fields which are first name, last name, company name, email address, position title, billing information. Within the previous sprints, the database has been developed and the interface to the different payment methods and also the interface to the spam detection component are ready. So as we see that the most of the things have been already uh, done and the detailed acceptance criteria is also listed here. Now let's look further. Which one of the following statements is correct according to the situation and mentioned acceptance criteria? So the only question we are talking about with in relevance to the scenario provided to you, which option is the most relevant answer for this? Answer set, we have options as A, all the mentioned acceptance criteria follow the meaning of invest characteristics. B, acceptance criteria does not fulfill invest criteria and is therefore a bad quality. C, user story is more like an epic and therefore the mentioned acceptance criteria do not fit. D, as there are no functional acceptance criteria mentioned, the team has forgotten to use quantitative questionnaires. Now team, for that you need to quickly recall from your uh, foundation agile tester extension certification that what exactly invest means. So here uh, the invest generally stands for independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, sized, and testable. That is testable. So it, I think uh, the scenario provided to us is actually following uh, the invest technique. So it is right as per the acceptance criteria provided to us. It is like uh, negotiable, identify independence, and uh, it's valuable as well, estimable, sized, and testable. So it's exactly following invest. So uh, A sounds to be the best answer for this particular example. But let's look at B, C, D. B, uh, it uh, does not fulfill the invest criteria. No, of course, uh, it's meeting the invest criteria, so B can be ruled out. C is uh, talking about the EPIC and saying that the acceptance criteria is not. So, of course, this is not as big as a scope of EPIC, so it does not fulfill the expectations of uh, scenarios provided to you. D is wrong as not always all the non-functional acceptance criteria are needed to be included as a part of it. So I think uh, putting it all together, the right answer here is A, as it is meeting all the criteria of invest, uh, the all mentioned acceptance criteria follow the meaning of invest characteristics. So this was a quick example to understand how the questions may appear in the examinations from this chapter. And we will be having almost like, you know, around a good count of questions to be you know, answered from this chapter again. So that's all from this particular chapter team or oh, this from this particular tutorial as well. If in case you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them both. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.